Are you tired of paying rent? Are you bored? Do you feel like your rent is your gilded cage because you're paying so much money to stay in one place instead of traveling? I did, and that's why I do van life. Now, I know what you're thinking. Damn, girl, you live in this? <laughs> Yes. For someone who doesn't have OCD, Hello. and for someone who finds peace and mess, this makes sense that this is my abode at the moment. I mean, what is that? Before we get into it, I want to obviously state that you do not need to have a perfect van or like a newly renovated apartment on wheels in order to do van life correctly. And I'm not saying this to be like, oh, I'm like the worst van life example ever. People have it very more bare bones than I do. It's just, you know, in terms of conversions, I don't think I should be in the running for pretty. I have what accent i have pieces that make my heart sing but as a package it's lacking anyways let's get into it i'm happily spending my 20s in my van and it's strategic wow it's strategic it's on purpose and i'll tell you why because i think more people should be living out of their vans especially if your rent makes up more than 30 percent of your paycheck which is most people my age but living out of a vehicle living somewhere that's like front free if you can do it i highly suggest you do it. And here are the reasons why I'm spending the majority of my 20s, if not all of my 20s, in a vehicle. Let's get it. Number one, to save money. When you do van life, it's not an automatic get out of free jail card. You know, you're not not spending money. You're just not spending a fixed amount every single month. I have to pay for gas, I have to pay for car insurance, and I have to pay for repairs. I also pay for a gym membership. I do Planet Fitness Black Card. That means I pay 25 a month plus like the yearly fee. So it comes out to around just under $30 a month in total to shower fill up my water tank water bottle i have a half gallon water jug that i take with me and i abuse the living heck out of that system so my water bill is 25 bucks gas is however much i travel which if when i'm in a city when i'm like you know parked in living life that's under a hundred dollars and then car insurance is what six hundred dollars a year so 300 every six months whatever that is divided by 12. $50 a month. That is what? Below $300 a month for living? Like that's like the base almost. Even less if I don't travel that much. Even more if I do travel that much, which I'm doing right now. And all that money that would just be thrown into rent is now going towards me going out, being social, AKA networking, traveling. Like I get to go to Europe, not because of daddy you mummy's money, because I have money to go. And I can buy like clothes even though I have such limited space. Invest, I have investments and I live in a van. I have friends that have an apartment with no savings. And I say that not to like have bragging rights. I say that in the sense like people see me living in a van and they kind of, maybe their first take is like, aw, you live in the van, I'm so sorry. It's like, no, I'm doing fine. I, I'm choosing this. I'm doing this to save money in the long term. Number two, I have no responsibility right now. I have no boyfriend, no husband, no kids, no pets. So I only have me and my parents are, you know, knock on wood, very healthy. So I have no one to look after other than myself. That doesn't mean that I don't care for other people, you know? That doesn't just mean I'm out here in Madison La La Land. It just means that I physically do not have to be in one location to help someone else out. I just have to worry about myself right now. So therefore, this is the perfect time to do van life. Number three, to see the world slash country. Like I said before, because I don't pay rent, that money goes to international travel. So yes, I'm in my van right now and I get to see the country that I'm currently in, which is the United States. Love the land, politics, let's not talk about it. At least on this channel, we come here to escape. And I mean it when I said in the beginning that rent is like your gilded cage. Like, yeah, you got security, security. I've been broken into my apartment before. So I'm like, I've never been broken into my car. My car has never been broken into, but people think that's less safe than a renting an apartment, but here we are. But you have, you know, more security, you have all the amenities, you can just stay there and feel safe, but you don't have money to travel because it's all going towards your gilded cage, the area that you stay in the most. Hopefully that makes sense, I'm confusing myself. I'm doing this so I get to see more of the world. I remember graduating college and moving to my first apartment in New York, and I really wanted to travel. Like I wanted to travel more than anything in the world, but I couldn't because all my money was going to rent. I could take the time off, but I couldn't afford to, you know, get a train ticket, get an Airbnb, then go out to eat and all that stuff like now that just comes with the package of van life so say la vie baby number four i'm an extrovert and this environment is so conducive to like my wants and needs and my just like everything i love meeting people i love being out and about if you were introverted and like needed your space you could still do van life 
you're probably gonna be in your van more than you would be comfortable doing. But like me, even when I had an apartment or place to stay, I wanted to go out all the time. And I normally did, but sometimes I had to, you know, cut back on it because I was like, ooh, going out equals spending money. But that's okay now because my money is allocated to going out. And this is my office and I get to be around people. And then I get to talk to the baristas and be like, hey, what's up? So like this environment is my favorite. It doesn't make sense for me to pay upwards of $2,000 a month to pay for essentially a bed. That's what I would be paying for because I'm out so much. So this is wonderful. I love it. Number five, tomorrow is not guaranteed. I could have a stroke. Again, knock on wood. I could have a stroke right now. I could be run over. I could slip and fall in the shower of Planet Fitness. Anything could happen. I am not waiting. Like I mentioned before, I have no responsibilities, but also I don't want to wait till I'm 60 or 70 to do this now, which you can, you know, but, but I would just hate to, you know, randomly be snatched up from earth and be like, oh dang, I was putting this off thinking I had more time. No, do the thing that's burning in your heart right now because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. So that is why I'm doing this in my 20s now. Number six, honestly, I love it. This goes off the extroverted thing too, but I genuinely enjoy van life. This is not a punishment. I actively choose to do this. So either all my money goes to my gilded cage, like we said, just a bed. And I live a very small life because I just have to. I just have to stay inside all the all the time or i get to have this rich exciting fulfilling life using my money to see the us guess which one i'm choosing okay number seven this one's not so heavy but it's just more like for me i don't know what this means about my personality but it's a challenge van life obviously is not easy compared to living in just in a house living indoors you have to be cautious of your power make sure you have enough you know juice for your fridge to last the night you have to make sure you're up to date with your water dump it out you have to like find a bathroom if you don't have one in your van just things that you take for granted that has to be like on in your mind all the time i'm not saying that i enjoy it but it's just like it's a fun challenge why not i hate when life gets boring because i feel like that was most of my childhood here comes the trauma i had a great upbringing it's just i didn't do much i just stayed indoors a lot so here we are with the kickback 360 we're doing the exact opposite why not number eight i want to Nine, I don't know about you, but I love taking old people's advice because they know more than me, obviously, because they have lived a whole life longer than I have. They've been in my shoes before. So when I hear old people say, or older people, when I hear older people say that they wish they traveled more in their 20s, and when I hear young moms go, don't rush into marriage, I'm like, noted, I'm paying attention to you, and I'm going to implement that in my own life. Like, personally, I love getting on TikTok and listening to older people talk about like here's 20 things i wish i knew in my 20s here's five things that you need to do before you turn 30. i eat that up and one common thread is do not wait till you're older to travel you can do that they say but it's like different when you're young and you can do more with your body like you can just i don't know handle more so that's why i do what i do <laughs> all in all van life is not for everyone van life is not what you see in these videos even my videos like i just show the fun parts of it maybe i should make a video of taking out my camera every single time something bad happens in van life um i'm lucky enough that you know not a lot of bad things have happened to me yet but the longer i'm in the van the more i'm like oh go i'm like oh things happen like today there's no sun out today so i have to use my backup emergency jackery oh i need to get that batter that like car battery thing and also it's like raining it's been raining for the last five hours and i had so much planning and i planned so much to do and you don't really have to think about that when you have a house when you have a place when you have your own place because you know you just don't have to but for me it's like oh well now i'm limited to indoors unless i take out my little umbrella i know there's a good handful of you who follow me who also do van life so please share down in the comments feel free to share with the class why you personally are choosing to do van life at the age that you're at i do have older people on here who are like in their 50s 60s doing van life and i'm like that's so fascinating why are you doing that like tell me all about that what's the story and you're gonna hear from me first i don't plan on doing van life my whole life but i think it's just like one of the smartest things i can do for myself in my 20s and beyond but specifically specifically what but <laughs> but specific i can't say it but especially in my 20s because of all the reasons that I listed. Thank you guys for listening. I I had planned to do this in a beautiful, beautiful state park, but it's raining. So you get me in my little humble abode. 
I decided what I'm gonna do for the ceiling. I'm gonna get like a bunch of different scarves and just like judge it up and make it kind of hippie, like Stevie Nicks under Velvet Underground. Um, anyways, here's Wonderwall. I'm gonna go tune this.